Getting a job that pays well is something that we're all interested in, especially if you're thinking about investing in higher education abroad. If you want to study in the US and are curious to know what are the highest paying jobs, then we've got you. In today's video, we'll be discussing the best STEM career options that not only pay a bomb, but also have a good growth trajectory for the next decade. Let's get started. How did we arrive at this list? We have used the US Occupational Outlook Handbook published by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. Before we dive into the list, I want to share that this is a general indicator, but it is definitely a credible source since this is used as a statistical resource by many US government bodies like the Department of Labor, US Congress, etc. Secondly, even though the median annual salary figures are from May 2021, the outlook is projected until 2031 in terms of job growth, so we can still consider this data. But as always, don't just depend on statistical information, definitely connect with seniors and alumni to get on-ground information. Now with that being said, let's dive right in to different courses and the highest paying jobs that you can get if you choose to study them. Starting with Computer and IT. Computer and IT is undoubtedly a fast-growing field both in India and in the US. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics expects the sector to grow by 15%, adding about 682,000 jobs over the next decade. The median annual salary for this group is estimated to be $97,430, as of May 2021. So what does median mean? The median wage is the amount at which half the workers in an occupation earned more than that amount and the other half earned less. In the computer and IT industry, you can get some of the best opportunities by working in fields like virtual reality, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud computing, etc. Along with the median annual salary, we are sharing the income range, related degrees you can pursue, job growth, top industries, as well as US states that you can consider. Here's a look at them on your screen. Now, if you're actively considering studying abroad, then you're probably also curious to know what universities are best for these degrees and fields. So based on past student data, Here's a look at the top 5 universities for the computer and IT department from 900,000 students on the Orchid platform. Yorkit Pro Tip we are also sharing top states for every job to give you an idea as to how to narrow down your university selection. You will see that states like California, New York, Texas seem to be present in every job list, which is why these are also among the top student favorites despite living costs. Number two, data science. It's no secret that data scientists bring a lot of value to the table. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for data scientists is at around $100,910 in May 2021. This is because organizations realize the power of big data and also the ability to drive smart business decisions. Data scientists help organizations make informed decisions, improve business processes, design and develop new products, as well as market these products better to customers. Coming up next, you will see the types of jobs the data scientists do, as well as the median annual salary, related degrees you can pursue, job growth rates, top industries, as well as the top US states. Here's a look at top universities that Yorkiters are choosing for masters in data science. Number three, architecture and other engineering programs. Overall employment in architecture and other engineering occupations are expected to grow at about 4% between 2021 and 2031, which is about as fast as the average of all other occupations. Granted that the growth is not as fast as data science or computer and IT, this growth is expected to add about 91,300 jobs over the next decade in the US. Let's take a look at some common job titles, their median annual salaries, growth rates, US states, industries, and so on. Here's a look at the top universities that Yorkiters have chosen across these programs for architecture and engineering programs in the recent intakes.
Yorkit Pro Tip. If you're looking for a personalized list of universities that are not only taking ROI into account but are also suitable for your profile, then check out Yorkit's College Finder. Simply enter your profile details and our machine learning algorithm will give you a ready-made list of universities categorized based on your admit chances and based on the admission history of 900,000 past students just like you. I'm linking the tool in the description below. Check it out and let us know what universities you got. A business master's degree is a sure shot way to a top salary. But keep in mind that not all business master's degrees are the same. How much you make varies depending on how in demand your skills are, how competitive your industry is, what specialized technical skills you've acquired during the course of your program and so on. So here's a look at different business finance and management programs based on their annual median salary according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. Here's a look at the top universities that Yorkiters have been shortlisting for these programs in the recent intake. Thanks to e-commerce and the pandemic, the supply chain sector has seen significant job growth over the past few years, with organizations trying to future-proof their supply chain as much as possible. On average, the median salary for masters in supply chain graduates is 76,000, with salaries going as high as $150,000 also. These roles range from operations management all the way up to material planning. So which companies hire masters of supply chain graduates? Amazon is of course the biggest recruiter, looking to hire highly skilled graduates to manage their global operations. Also popular are firms like Boeing and General Electric Aviation. Here's a look at the details for MS in supply chain. As well as the universities that Yorkiters have been choosing to study MS in supply chain in the US. Although we've listed professions that pay well, it definitely matters where students pursue their masters from. Masters from an established institution helps you land best companies at competitive packages. Also, the proximity to companies will be very important as international students when you look for internships and gain practical experience. This will help you stand out from the mass of students applying to these companies at any given point in time. Yorkit Pro Tip if you want an easy way to connect with seniors and alumni of your targeted universities, then check out Yorkit Connect. It's a free tool that helps you filter out past students, see their university profiles and compare the status to your own profile. You can also message these students and talk to them regarding your upcoming study abroad plans. Last but not the least, salaries that are listed here are subject to change and will vary from location to location. The figures are only an indicator. You also must look at a cost of living number in order to understand whether this is a good salary or not. But we hope that this video was helpful to you and that you found some information to begin your study abroad research. And that's it from us in today's video. If you have any more questions about studying abroad, then please drop them in the comments below. We will definitely answer them or make a video on it. But until I see you next time in another video, this is Shruti signing off. Ta-da!